I've been lucky enough to have spent a big chunk of my life on the road, and the one thing I never get tired of is meeting people enjoying their own journeys. Milo and me always manage to draw a crowd, but if it helps get the next generation as excited about getting out and exploring the country when they grow up, then I reckon we've done our bit. And exploration's the name of the game today, pushing further up into the Cape. OK, guys, I reckon we'll just look at maybe another 40-odd case today, heading north. Uh, oh, we'll be uh, in camp in half an hour. Oh, no, mate. I've got a couple of backtracks in mind. I oh, thought we could just explore Another one of John's shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And if this map's know. anything to go by, it's going to be a long day. Oh, come on, We better guys. get started. <laughs> Righto. That's just what Milo does to things. Look at me. I'm only 28. There's a beach just north of Loyalty that not many people know about. A pristine stretch of sand. Well, except for a couple of old rust buckets that blew up in a storm. Ha! At least there's something up here that's looking worse than my life. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I love Fraser, I love Morton, I love Stratty, but uh, there's nothing quite like driving along the top of Australia on a deserted beach. This is awesome. It's only a short run before the track heads back inland, where you'll find a very well-placed freshwater underbody car wash. They think of absolutely everything up here. But then I suppose you need to be ready for just about anything up here. Of course, it wouldn't be a proper shortcut if it was the easiest way from point A to point B. Now, would it? Did you hear that sloshy noise? Do you know what that is? That's about six inches of water that came into Milo. She sloshed in, and now it'll slosh right out again with a bit of luck. Deep water with soft, silty sand. Pretty typical of the creeks up around the tip, and it's all part of the fun, really. Last time I came through here in my leaf sprung truck, I got hung up exactly the same way, and it's caused by a big hump underneath the water that's uh, been pushed in by coil spring trucks. Now, I know that because there was an 80 series coil spring truck that came through easily after I got stuck last time. And uh, this time around, I think that's what's going to happen with the patrol. I think Heath will be OK, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Giddy up, Heath. That's it, come through. Oh, hey, <laughs> well done, mate. OK, next, that'll be you, can I? Some kids just never grow out of playing around in the mud, do they? Turn that way a bit, can I? Beautiful. A bit boggy. It's quicksand. <laughs> well, it might be slow progress, but you know the saying, many hands make light work. I guess there's a reason you won't find this shortcut on any of the maps. Pretty full on day in the end. Nothing that can't be fixed with a hot shower and a couple of cold drinks. And fortunately, we can get both at Punsam Bay. It's another one of the clean and comfy campsites that cater to the ever increasing numbers of people coming up to the Cape each year. They've got their own restaurant here too, famous for the wood fired pizzas. But I've got something special in mind for our boys, a home-cooked meal, sure to fill the spot after a big day playing around in the puddles. But that's coming up on the other side of the break, so stick around for camp cooking in Cape York.